Hello, you want to join me as I go do some food deliveries for a few hours? Hello everyone, my name is Russ and welcome back to the Russ Ride channel. On my channel I'll give you tips on how to improve your earnings and ratings for now mostly delivery companies and before with rideshare companies. But obviously due to the recent pandemic the rideshare has not been a focus of mine. One thing that I was doing earlier was Instacart and the money is great but just out of sensitivities for my family I'm electing not to do Instacart for now just because you are around a bunch of other shoppers. Whereas food delivery, you are relatively safe now because you just go get the food, minimal contact there, and then a majority of the customers are asking to drop it off at the door with no contact. So that's a lot less contact. And I still know that the money is really good. So I'll add it up today and see how much it is total as well as the dollars per mile because that is important, wear and tear on the vehicle. My plan is to use DoorDash because once DoorDash is busy, it does stay busy and I should get back-to-back -back orders. I don't want to uh, accept every order um, because my time is valuable, but I will mix in Uber Eats and Postmates if DoorDash is slow. So let's get online and see what the first order is gonna be did have one offer for Vons. It was 4.7 miles and 6.75, but that wasn't really worth it. I am ready to start dashing. I've got my face mask and some food service gloves. Some important concepts that I use when I'm out doing food delivery. First, I want to pick peak times to deliver. Obviously, lunchtime when a lot of companies and people are ordering and then also in the evening. I primarily do during the day, so I'll focus more on lunchtime and the afternoon. Another area that I focus on is communication with the customer. I'll send them a text message after I've picked up the food and I'm on my way to them, and I'll link another video to that at the end of this video, uh, giving the instructions and details on how to do that yourself. It definitely helps improve your tips and your ratings and that's something that's very important when you're doing food delivery, especially for DoorDash and also Uber Eats. Please share in the comments below, what food delivery platforms do you use? So far, I've been happy with Postmates, Uber Eats, and DoorDash. I also on occasion use, oh, here's a uh, delivery. That's really far, 750 for 11.2 miles. No, thank you. I do know that my time is valuable, so set your limit. If you want to make a certain amount per hour, then don't accept any orders that are less that would uh, add up to that. So I range roughly about six, seven dollars. Um, really, seven dollars would be the minimum, but it depends if it's slow. Like right now, maybe I would have taken that uh, Vaughn's flower delivery order, so at least I would have made six seventy-five instead of sitting here waiting for another order something to think about but absolutely guaranteed those three four dollar orders no way you are taking a chance that the customer may tip you but if they don't you're you're just paying money out of pocket to do nothing if nothing else just the wear and tear on your car is not worth it well welcome back it's 11 o'clock i got a panda express order for six dollars it's only two miles so that's worthwhile and in hindsight, I really should have just taken that bonds order. But, oh well, let's get started. Well, we're about 36 minutes in. Here's a 575 with McDonald's, I'll accept that. Actually, no I won't, that's too low. So I've had two orders, I'm at $15 total, and it's roughly, say, 45 minutes, so gotta get moving. Looking for orders that are $7 or above, and accounting for the mileage. Things are going pretty smoothly, it should be picking up, it's gonna be peak lunchtime here. So I'll check back with you in a little bit. That last order was 850, 
and then it had a 50 cent tip, I think, so $9 total. It's not too bad. I need orders like that consistently. But so far, I've only driven four miles, so that's not too bad. I have done three orders so far. I did relocate, and my total is 26 75 I have driven 18 miles, which is pretty decent. Again, I did relocate to another area to get more orders. The last order was $11 for seven miles from a family restaurant, and that was a really good one. I kind of was getting demoralized at only getting the four, five, six dollar orders and feeling that time was going by, but that 11 one was great. So up next, I've got a seven dollar order, and I'm headed there now. That was a quick order, two miles for seven dollars, pretty good. Total right now, 33.75, and I've driven say 26 miles, 27 miles, and it is 12.30, so an hour and a half. Let's keep going and hopefully get some more orders back to back. It would be a shame to have to switch off of DoorDash and resort to Uber Eats or Postmates if it gets slow, but I will do it. You just pause your dash for the 30 minutes and then come back after you've completed the order. Don't make the mistake like I did one time of doing a Postmates order and a DoorDash order at the same time. I think the customer saw me driving all the way to another city, delivering food for a different company, and then by the time I gave them their food, they were very upset. So I had that low rating on DoorDash. Don't do that. All right, I'll check back with you when I get some more orders. Quick update, I'm at $40.75. I have driven 28 miles and coming up on two hours, so that's $20 an hour. I have declined two orders. One was from Wingstop because you have to wait. The food's not ready when you get there, and it was only $6, so hopefully we'll get some more. And ideally, it's nice if I don't even have time to make these video updates for you. That means I'm getting back-to-back -back orders and just moving, which is the goal. Keep in mind it is a weekday, so that could play into it. All right, back in a little bit. All right, it is almost 1.30, so that's two and a half hours. I'm at $49.50, driven 37 miles. This last one, I had an order for $11 from TGI Fridays, and it was a seven and a half mile trip. So it makes me contemplate the difference in rideshare. If you do a bunch of short trips, that actually kind of equals up to a long trip because you have the chance of more tips and you stay in a local area. Well, what about with food delivery? I've been focusing on the dollars and I really haven't had a chance to pay attention to the mileage unless it was really clear. You know, like one, two mile deliveries are great, but what if instead of me being so uh, demanding on that $7 limit, if I had taken a couple $6 orders, the mileage may have worked out a little less or been the same and maybe I would have had a chance to get another order, whereas right now I'm a little bit far away from a restaurant. Something to think about. Um, let's hope that I get some more orders. It feels kind of slow to me, but I do realize it's kind of working out to be uh, roughly $20 an hour, uh, but it feels slow. I feel like it should be back-to-back -back busier. But then maybe that's why a California driver down in LA, you know, he's making $25, $30 an hour. Um, Something to be said for that. All right, I will update you in a while. Hello, I've driven 50 miles, earning 64.50. It's 2.15, so I've worked 12, one, two, three hours and 15 minutes. And the orders have definitely slowed down. I know the afternoon is the slow time, so this will be a good time to go take a lunch and then come back when it picks up, you know, around three or four. We'll see though. I was very close to quitting just because the orders were so slow in coming in. But then I got a McDonald's order for $8 and it was only a few miles away. So I'm gonna head back to a busier area and then I'll update you once again. I have a feeling the next time I update you, that's gonna be at the end of today's journey. So I hope you've enjoyed it. All right, check back in a while. Well, welcome back. Shout out to Steven. I just ran into him doing an Uber Eats delivery. He was working shipped and he said consistently he's making $30 an hour. I'm gonna check that out. I've heard of it, but I've heard mixed reviews. So actually I'm gonna look into that and see. 
because Instacart, I know, is uh, grocery deliveries, and then you're fighting the bots and the competition from all the other drivers, or I'm sorry, shoppers that they've hired. Um, food delivery is a good option. You just have to watch your dollar per mile. And then shipped, I think, is also grocery shopping and shopping at any store uh, for items for the customers. So that was very encouraging, and it was nice to meet you, Stephen, and thanks for that shout out. So it was a little slow. I took a working lunch and uh, delivered an Uber Eats delivery. It was seven dollars for four and a half miles, and it's coming up on three o'clock. It should start to get busy again. I have driven 63 miles. Total is 64.50, so I'm at a dollar per mile. I know it does get slow from two to four, and that's really when it's a good time to run errands and things like that. So I'm looking forward to it picking up, and I will get back with you. Thank you. That was an exciting day. I worked from 11 a.m. till 4 p.m., so that's five hours, earning a total of $99.51. That works out to an hourly rate of $19.90 and I did a total of 11 deliveries. Total mileage, I drove 89 miles, as you can see in the screenshot there. And overall, I was satisfied with today. I do know that lunchtime was the key time to drive because that's peak, but really between two and four, it slows down dramatically. I still chose to drive during that time just because I have other things going on this afternoon. Um, in reality, though, that would have been the prime time to drive would be uh, starting now because you start to hit the dinner rush. Overall, I'm glad that I was able to have an opportunity to earn money doing deliveries. And don't forget, check out the video that I'll put at the end so you can watch to see the text message that I send my customers. That way they know to expect my order and to tip as well as give ratings. So what did you think about today? Was it helpful for you? Again, please do share in the comments below what other delivery services you use and how you like them. And I am thankful to hear about Shipped. I'm going to check that out because uh, $30 consistently per hour, that's pretty significant and worthwhile. All right, until I see you in my next video, have a good day and take care. Bye.